Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to another Star Wars Vintage Collection action figure review. This time we're looking at VC number 201. It is Darth Maul from The Clone Wars. Uh, based on his appearance in Season 7, Siege of Mandalore. This card is amazing. I love the image. Goes perfectly with the uh, previously released Ahsoka, which I now have a second one. Well, not previously released, it technically comes after this one because she was 202. And also, I have reviewed her, so you can go back and check that out as well. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to opening this one up. <clears throat> I do have a second one coming, so I'm really excited to have a carded version of each of these figures, being Darth Maul and Ahsoka. And uh, we'll take a couple, look at a couple different uh, Darth Mauls that have been previously released. So let's open this one up and have a look. All right, here he is. Here's the figure. And yeah, from just first glances, I've literally looked at this thing for about enough time to put it on a stand. So I'm pretty damn pumped about this figure. He looks really good. Um, yeah, really thrilled with this one. It's great to see. I just love that there's Clone Wars stuff coming out <laughs> again. Um, you know, as much as I'd love to have them in animated style, like I'll take it. And you know, they, 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 we've got a pretty decent selection of sort of live action interpretations of Clone Wars characters now. So this is, uh, it's pretty good. Um, I'm, I'm happy with it, let's just say that. So yeah, all the articulation, he has got the ball jointed head, double ball jointed head, uh, ball hinges in the shoulders and elbows and wrists. He's got the sort of upper torso joint where he got cut off. Uh, ball hinge thighs, swivels at the thighs too. Uh, hinge joint in the knees and hinge in the ankles. Doesn't appear to have the rocker just because of the way... Oh yeah, there is. Forgive me on that, I was wrong. Um, and yeah, if you're finding these joints a little bit tough uh, straight out of the packaging, I recommend dipping them in a bit of hot water. Um, straight out the kettle or under the under the hot tap uh, just to loose to soften that plastic give them a couple of bends while it's warm and uh, that should get them get, get them moving better sometimes the there's just a little bit of extra plastic in the molds and they sort of gum together a little bit but um you know this one's not too bad but sometimes you do get a figure these days that feel a little bit like that and uh, you do see that quite often with some other toy brands um, so yeah, it comes with his lightsaber. Uh, obviously this is the half of the one that he's been saving for years and years and years. He's had with him since Naboo. And there we have this other half that he has in the Clone Wars. Um, which if you look at the covers and all the artwork for the Dark Disciple book, which is based on Asajj Ventress and Quinlan Vos, you'll see that Saj Ventress actually has this same hilt. Um, it is actually, she has a yellow blade. So there is a little untold story as to how Darth Maul was able to acquire it. But uh, naturally it pegs together. So the Maul gets to uh, fight with his traditional two bladed style, which is just awesome. I'm going to try and get a nice close-up of his head sculpt here. So there we have it. I think it's a nice looking head sculpt. I think it's done a good job. The paint apps are pretty decent. <clears throat> it's funny though, you know, these, these things feel like they're a lot smaller than they used to be, but I don't think that's the case. I think it's literally, um, literally just so most of us are so used to Black Series now that you go back to, you know, the sort of scarce releases of TVC that actually feel really quite small in comparison. But yeah, I really love the outfit. The robot legs, they look great. I like the sort of belt, belt sort of attachment that he has there. Yeah, I really like the legs. <clears throat> so while we're here I thought I'd take a quick look at a few other Darth Mauls from like the animated series post new uh past post Phantom Menace, excuse me. So this is probably my favourite Darth Maul figure. 
still to date. Um, there's just something about this one that's just amazing. I do have the sort of live action comic pack version, which is amazing as well. But I really, really love this this mole, big sort of chicken legs. <laughs> just so awesome. Um, this one is a custom I did based on the 5 POA Darth Maul that came out back in 2012 or 13. Uh, no, it, would, it might have even been 14. Um, so I, I added articulation to it, um, put the animated head on it, gave him articulated knees, which look to be pretty similar to the mould for this one here. So, you know, colours have sort of varied a little bit, whereas his jumpsuit is now a bit more brown. But yeah, it's definitely it's sort of the same style. The custom dark saber I gave him. But yeah, I did a I did this back in like 2013 or 14, I reckon. So it's been a long time that I've had this one in my collection. And then lastly, we have the Rebels. 5 POA Old Master, which is still a cool looking figure despite the, uh, you know, lacking articulation. Um, he's a little bit scrawny, but I guess he was kind of in those episodes. It sort of withered down to his physically most fragile, I suppose. But yeah, still, still cool nonetheless. But uh, one thing I did want to try was See if I could remove the head off of this mole. See if I could give him an animated look. Obviously, I'd need to do some plastic surgery with the uh, with the joints and the ball joints and stuff, but it could work. The, the body might feel a little bit small. The head might be a little bit big. Um, yeah, I don't know. This could make for a possible addition. I think I'm just going to keep it in live action style, to be honest. I think it works well, particularly with Ahsoka. And that head pops on nicely, so it's a good figure. A really good figure. I'm, 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 I love Darth Maul. I think he's become a, a really great dynamic character. You know, I think most of us were iffy for the most part when they said they were going to bring him back. It's like, well, how? And uh, I think he's he's become almost a tragic, tragic villain. Um, you know, used up as a pawn. You know, I think it was Sam Witwer once, you know, compared him to uh, the myth of Sisyphus um, destined to push a... Destined to push a boulder uphill only to have it roll back down and be forced to push it back up again. And that's pretty much indicative of uh, Darth Maul's life. You know, constantly seeking revenge with hatred and all these negative emotions. And in the end, it did him no good. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to posing these two up together on the shelf. They're absolutely fantastic. What a, what a pair. What an absolute pair. This is fantastic. Thank you Hasbro for getting these two awesome, awesome figures out. So yeah, the Clone Wars deserves the love it is getting and more, in my opinion. So, in that, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this, this video, this review of Darth Maul. Let me know in the comments below what you think, how you feel about this figure. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. And uh, check the description down below for links to my social medias. I have some merch that I've designed myself in a Redbubble store. And um, yeah, I have a PO box if you ever want to send a letter. So that's always, they're always appreciated. And I'll definitely do... A little video every time I receive something so appreciate your watching until next video
May the force be with you always.